Okay. I am going to uh, do now in detail the problem that uh, today in class we have finished with. Um, I was quite in a hurry, so um, I don't think I did a good job on uh, finishing clearly. Uh, so I, uh, I am sorry for that, and uh, I am here now uh, trying to explain that again. So in this problem 7, uh, they give us two signals, uh, x1 and y1. And uh, these two signals are 3 delta n minus 2 plus 2 delta n minus 1 plus delta n minus 2. And y1 is u the n minus u on n minus 3. And then they tell us something that they create a periodic signal uh, for each of these two signals with period 4. But uh, first, in, um, in uh, number A, they tell us that uh, we should we have to calculate the convolution between x1 and y1, so these non-periodic signals, and they call z1 uh, the convolution. So as I have explained in class, z1 is very, very easy to make the convolution. If you just uh, see that uh, x, uh, sorry, y1 can be expressed as basically delta n plus delta on n minus 1 plus delta on n minus 2. This is basically uh, delta, uh, un minus n, un minus 3. So if you then make the convolution, apply the distributive property of the convolution, what you get is uh, this uh, zeta 1n that I have uh, draw over here. You can see here is a 3 delta in 0 plus 5 delta in 1 plus 6 delta in 2 plus 3 delta in 3 plus 1 delta in 4. And this is a uh, sit one, uh, the, the signal that they were asking in in, uh, in number A. So in number B, now they ask us to calculate uh, uh, another thing, which is in V, they say that they we have to calculate Wn, which is basically taking sit one and generating a periodical signal out of Z1 like this. So this is uh, from k equal to minus infinite to plus infinite Z1 me minus n minus minus k n k n where n is exactly what they say before is n equal to four. So what this means is that we create a signal a new signal W n taking Z1 which is the signal here on the left, and just translating that to the right at 2 the n with a period 4. So my confusion today, or something what I what I didn't see while I was uh, in a hurry in class, was the fact, the following fact. Let's do that. Let's now take C1 and let us translate that to the right four units. So if we take this signal and we translate that to the right four units, look at this. This uh, sample number a zero in zero of value three goes to one, two, three, four. So this one will eventually go one, two, three, will eventually go up to here, to number four. It doesn't go to number five. So that basically when we translate this to the right, it will overlap. And let me take another color here. So if I take this, it will uh, add three here. If we translate number one with a value of five, it will go with a value of five over here. Number uh, the number two of value six will go over here. And number three with value three will go over here. And number one with value one will go over here. So basically, you can see here in this in this number four that there is an overlap between the original signal C1 and the translation in on an amount four to the right. So basically, this one plus this three will translate into a value which finally will be a four. Let's do that again. Let's do based on this translate again to the right the same signal for units. So we take again C1. And we translate again to the right 
uh, on four units. What will we see? Let's translate uh, to the right four units. Uh, so it will be one, two, three, and four. So we will end up again in, in one with a value of three. Let's change now the color again, for example. We will come here with a value of three, here with a value of five, here with a value of six, here again with a value of three, and here with a value of one. So that you can see the pattern here, basically three plus one will end up in really a sample, which is four. And this will happen once again. So as you can see, this is the signal that is generated is this one. The basic period is this one. And here from there will be a, a four here on the left. There will be a four here on the left, if you want. That will go all the way to green to this point over here. So that you can see that you have four, four, five, six, three. This is the basic period. Is four, five, six, three. This is the basic period that that gains gets translated to the right. This is another four, five, six, three. Here there will be another here four five six three and all the way to the left to the right and also to the left so this is a signal that has a period one two three four so the period of this signal is n equal to four and the duration is one two three and four the duration is four as well okay so this is the first time that we uh, look at this we generate the periodical signal but overlapping overlapping uh, signals that get uh, translated okay so this is the this is the key point so in 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 summary we will have a signal which will be omega in zero will but its value will be four omega in one the value will be five w in two will be six and w in three will be three. This is basically the signal that is periodical with a period n equal to four. And for this signal, we have to make the discrete time Fourier series. So it's a periodical signal. So there is no problem in uh, uh, calculating the, the, Fourier, uh, the Fourier series. So let's do that. So we just apply the formula a sub k equals 1 divided by n, in this case n is 4, and then is the summatory in one period. So let's pick from k0, sorry, from n, from n, 0 to n equal to 3 of the original signal wn multiplied by e2 minus j k to pi divided by the period, which is 4n. So let's go and calculate this. So this is 1 over 4, and then we go and we give values to k. So we'll have omega 0 multiplied by a e to e, uh, e to minus j k p divided by 2 and n, which is zero. Okay, so this is the value for n equal to zero. And then omega zero, we can see that it is four. And this is basically one. Okay, so we have the first term for n equal to zero. The next one will be for n equal to one. So w in one, e minus j k we have 1, w1, we can see that it is 5, and this we can see that e2 minus j, p half is minus j, so this is minus j to k, okay, plus 
w in 2 times e minus j k p and a half 2 w in 2 w in 2 is 6 and this is uh, minus 1 to k and the last term will be plus w in 3 times e minus j k p half 3 okay and this is w in 3 is 3 and this is uh, this is j to k okay so that's the solution basically the coefficients the 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 Fourier series will be 1 over 4 4 plus 5 times minus j to the k plus 6 times minus 1 to k plus 3 times j to k and of course k taking values equal to 0 plus 1, 2 and 3 okay so this is the this is the the solution of the uh, of the exercise uh, so to one interesting thing in this problem again is the fact that there is an overlap between this black signal the original signal and translated that to the right as we translate four units and the duration is one two three four five the original duration of seat 1 is 5, but we translate to the right only 4 units, then there is an overlap on the last uh, value of the translated signal, which is 1, and the first value of the translated signal, which is uh, 3. So that's somehow the only point. We just see that the overlap is over here, the overlap is over here, we calculate again the value, which is 4, and uh, that we identify the basic period, and the basic period uh, is just uh, apply the, the formula to get the, the Fourier series. Okay, so thank you for attending. Sorry again for being so quick in class and, and not being so clear on this. Uh, and I hope that you, that you understand uh, the exercise and, and practice at home. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.